All right, here I'm going to show you guys how to prove that the number log base 2 of 3 is irrational by using contradiction. So here we go. Let's go ahead and write down PF to start off with. And in general, whenever we're trying to prove a statement that has a not in it, well, usually it's a good idea to use contradiction. Here, we're pretty much saying log base 2 of 3 is not rational, right? So that's why we use contradiction. All right, so let's go ahead and just write down so that we can be super clear by contradiction. So, so what that means is that we're just going to assume the opposite of this statement and see what happens. Meaning that we're just going to assume the number log base 2 of 3 is rational for now and let's see what, what, what will happen. Well, if we know log base 2 of 3 is rational, what's the definition of a rational number? It has to be a ratio of two integers, right? So we can write log base 2 of 3 as m over n. And right here, I'm just going to assume that without loss of generality, m and n are both positive. Because if they are both negative, you can just cancel them out. And yeah, and then clearly you can see that this right here is positive because the input is bigger than the base. So I think that's will be really fair to say. And I'm just going to say that this right here, m and n, they are in the set of positive integers. All right, so keep all the small things in mind. And because I say n is a positive integer, I don't have to say n is not equal to zero because this is, yeah, given. All right, so from here, let's see what we can do. This is the time that we can do some computations. Log base two of three is equal to m over n. Let's go ahead and exponentiate both sides, meaning we put two to this power and two to that power, this and that cancel. So we are getting just three on the left hand side and then this is equal to two to the m over n's power. And we know we don't like to have rational exponents. So let's go ahead and raise both sides to the n's power like this so that this and that cancel. So what we are really going to get is the left hand side is 3 to the n's power and then the right hand side is equal to 2 to the m's power. And now we have an issue. Keep in mind, n and m, they are both positive integers. So when we have 3 raised to an integer power, a positive integer power, this right here, it's always going to be odd. 3 to the first power is 3, 3 to the second power is not 6, it's 9, 3 to the third power is 27, it's always going to be odd. And then this right here, 2 to the, any positive integer power is always even. So this is a pretty common way to show that, hey, we have a contradiction, because the left hand side is always odd, of course, it can never be an even number, right? So we are done. When you see, like, Blah, 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 and then this is always odd, this is always even, so like, okay, it's so wrong, right? So that means our original assumption here must be wrong, meaning that this statement that we're trying to show is actually correct. So once you have this, you are pretty much done. And because this is the contradiction proof, I like to draw an arrow going like this way, and then go the other way, showing that there's a contradiction. If we take a more legitimate proof, like a direct proof, I will draw a box and then, but no. I will do this for contradiction. So hopefully this right here helps. And if you guys want to see other proof like this or uh, other math videos, check out this video right here.